Bran, Hodor, Jojen, and Mira are north of the wall and Bran is looking through Summer's eyes, now having the ability to look through him whenever he wants. They wake him up which angers Bran. They warn him that if he stays in the wolf too long, he will stay in Summer permanently and lose everything he has ever known. Later, Summer discovers a heart tree, to which Bran requests Hodor to carry him to it. Bran's skin changes with it and has a vision of another heart tree on a hill, the three-eyed raven, his father about to be executed, a flight of ravens, white walkers and whites, including a glimpse of the Night's King turning Craster's last son, the Iron Throne sitting empty with snow falling around it, himself falling from the tower, a dragon flying over King's Landing, and finally the same tree on a hill again, all while a strange voice tells him to find him, beneath the tree, north. Bran suddenly returns to his own consciousness and then tells the others that he knows where they have to go. Later, Bran and his companions are resting near Craster's keep. They hear the faint sounds of a baby's cries. Bran enters the mind of Summer to investigate where he finds Ghost, John's direwolf. However, before he can free Ghost, Summer is caught by a trap. Against Mira's urgings, they go to rescue Summer and Ghost but are taken prisoner by Carl Tanner. While Hodor is being tormented by Rast and the other mutineers for pure amusement, Carl threatens to kill Jojen and Mira before Bran gives up his identity. Bran and the others are being held imprisoned in a tent. Carl enters the tent and ties up Mira and prepares to rape her. Jojen offers to help them, saying he possesses the sight. Carl refuses and just before he cuts Mira, John and members of the Night's Watch attack the keep. Locke, who serves Roose Bolton, searches for Bran and finds him and attempts to escape the keep with Bran as he has also been tasked with finding and killing Rickon as well. However, Bran wags into Hodor, who escapes his binds and catches up to Locke. He lifts Locke off the ground and breaks his neck. Bran can see John and tries to crawl over to him to get his attention. Jojen arrives and intervenes, telling him that John will not let him search for the three-eyed raven if he goes with John back to Castle Black. Bran agrees and prepares to leave. Bran and his group eventually reach the giant weirwood tree on the hill, but are attacked by a group of whites. Jojen is fatally stabbed and Mira attempts to save him, but Jojen tells her to leave him for dead. They are helped by Leaf, a child of the forest who leads them into a cave after burning Jojen's body when Jojen dies. She explains that the whites cannot enter, as the magic that reanimates them has no power there. She then leads them deep into the cave to the three-eyed raven, who is revealed to not be a bird but a very old man whose body is fused to the roots of the weirwood tree. Mira begins to tell him that Jojen has died and before she can finish the raven says that Jojen knew what would happen the moment he left, and went anyway. When Mira asks how he knows that, the raven says that he has been watching them for all of their lives with a thousand eyes and one. The raven tells Bran that the hour is late, and Bran replies that he did not want anyone to die for him. The raven states that Jojen died so that Bran could find what he lost. Bran asks if the raven will help him walk again. The raven answers that Bran will never walk again, but he will fly, 